for this particular section is intervals um, over the domain where the function is increasing, decreasing, or remaining constant. Okay. Now the domain is the x value, so we're talking about the x axis right here, and that's the only numbers we're worried about. We're not we're not talking about it's increasing from the y values. We're talking about x values. Now let me just make it a little harder because it does seem to make it harder when you actually put the arrows. Um, we're going to say this graph continues all the way to the left and negative infinity all the way to the right. And what I'm looking for is where it's increasing. Well, first of all, the arrow makes it harder because it makes it seem like this graph is going down. Well, I'm not looking at where it's going down. I'm all worried about how we read, which is left to right. Okay, so I'm answering these questions left to right. In other words, where is it increasing? Well, from left to right, it's increasing right here. And then, so this is increasing. I'll just circle it. Increasing. And then it's increasing again right here. Okay? And then I'll circle in yellow. So increasing was blue. It's decreasing in yellow right in here. So this is decreasing. Okay? And then finally, in green, I'll circle where it's remaining constant. Okay? So there's three phases of my graph. This is where it's constant. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. From left to right, it's increasing on two different intervals. It, on, from right here and right here. And then it's constant in the middle where it does it's just flat. It's not moving up or down. And then finally, it's decreasing on that little interval there. So now what I need to do is actually write that in interval notation. So I want to say it's increasing, and I have two intervals. Well, I got to use my brackets, I use my parentheses, all that, all that background knowledge I've got from way back, from maybe even 095. Um, and so, what I say is it's increasing all the way from negative infinity, so way over here, and I use a parentheses because I can't touch negative infinity, all the way up to it stops increasing right here, which is right at negative three. Okay. Now notice I was talking about x values from negative infinity all the way up to negative three. Now it is actually touching negative three, so I use a bracket. Okay, and then there's one more interval where it's increasing. I'm going to skip the constant and decreasing for a second. It's increasing again from right here, which is at four, all the way towards infinity. It's going up, but it's as I'm going to the right towards infinity. So I say from four all the way up to infinity it's increasing. 4, I can use a bracket because it's touching there. Infinity, use parentheses because you can't actually touch infinity. So that's how you would say the uh, interval over which it's increasing. Now let's do interval over which it's decreasing. So now decreasing. Well, it's decreasing from right here, which is at 2, all the way up to 4. Okay, the graph is going down. It's decreasing. So we say it touches at 2, and it decreases all the way up to 4, and it touches there also. Finally, it's remaining constant from right here at negative 3 all the way over here to 2. Okay, So that's the two endpoints. So it starts being constant at negative 3, it ends being constant at 2 with brackets because it is touching at those two coordinates. So hopefully this makes sense uh, as far as what the intervals are and again we're only using x values in our uh, in, uh, intervals.